Assalamu alaikum, I am engineer Hamna Shakil and in this video I am going to find modulus of resilience and modulus of toughness for this test specimen. So uh, modulus of resilience is basically the energy absorbed till the yield point. So it's basically the area under the curve till the yield point and modulus of toughness is the energy absorbed from the start of the experiment till the fracture point and that is the area under this whole curve. So for modulus of resilience that is up till the yield point we can consider this as a triangle. Uh, so we can use the formula of the triangle which is equal to 1 by 2 into base. In our case the base is strain and height and in this case height is this yield point. And uh, keep in mind that the strain is in percentage so we have to divide it by 100 to make sure that we are doing the correct calculations and press enter so you can get the modulus of resilience as 0 0.067. For modulus of toughness you have to find the whole area under this curve. So we can divide this whole curve into smaller sections, find the area of all those smaller sections and we can add them up. So those smaller sections are basically trapeziums diagram over here so here you have got the stress strain uh, curve if you take any two very close points on the stress strain curve you can see that they basically make a trapezium and the area of the trapezium is 1 by 2 into the height of the trapezium into the sum of parallel sides so in our case the height of the trapezium is the difference between strain 2 and strain 1 and sum of parallel sides will be this L1 and L2 which are representing the stress at uh, point 1 and stress at point 2. So we are going to use this formula for all the points and at the end we are going to sum up all the points and that will give you and that will give us the area under the curve. So for point number 1 I am going to write 1 by 2 into height. In our case the height is the difference between the two strains. So, so I'm going to use this uh, data. Although these two data are same, but I'm going to use this one because this is the complete data set, and I want to find the area of the whole curve, not only till yield point. So uh, one by two into height. In our case, height is the difference between two strain points multiplied by sum of parallel sides. So the sum of parallel sides mean that you have to add these two stresses. Press enter and I'm going to copy this till the last data point. Let's go to the last data point. Here you can see that we have done this calculation for whole data. And here if you take the sum of all these values, you're going to get this result 12.8 which is actually the area under the whole curve and it represents modulus of toughness. So modulus of toughness is equal to this value. Press enter. So here you have found the modulus of resilience and modulus of toughness. You can also find the modulus of resilience and modulus of toughness using um, AutoCAD. And I have another video on my channel. Uh, showing you how to do that, how to take the data from Excel and uh, import that into AutoCAD and find the area. Also, if you want to confirm or if you want to make sure that your value of modulus of resilience is uh, correct, you can do that too. In this column, till uh, row number 242, you have data till yield point. If you add the area starting from this 242 and 0 point, you're going to get this uh, value of uh, area, which is actually representing modulus of resilience. So here you can see that there is uh, not much difference between this value and the value that you approximately found using the area of triangle. 